everyone welcome to this lecture in today's scenario we are going to solve to extract the header and the trailer record from a source flat file or in other words the interviewer can ask you to extract the first record and the last record from the flat file and load it into one target table or target file so let's quickly create a mapping for this We have created a mapping. Let's create a source which is already present here. We will drag it. And a target where we have to load the header and the trailer. Let's quickly see the source file. So our objective is to extract the first record that is A and the last record that is F. Let's clear the target. Okay. So now we have this. To tackle this type of situation, you need to understand that you have to pick up the first record which is very simple like you can use a sequence generator and then use a filter and then you can like extract the first record and drop the rest of the body of the flat file but now you also have to extract the last record so if you think of a sequence generator and a rank transformation and a combination of both these things can work together Let's see how. So first of all, we will use a sequence generator. We have to make it reusable so that the values which are passed to both the data pipelines, that is the first and the last record, are a little different. We will edit the properties here and make it one. The rest all the things are same. Let's go to the mapping. And now we need a rank transformation. So we first need to extract the first record, that is the header record. So we will bring our the next value from here and the data field from here. Now if you see, we will be applying ranking on the next value. We cannot use the rank, rank field on the data itself because the data can be alphanumeric or there is, there is no point in like applying the rank on the data itself. You have to because you're not using some aggregation or something or a mathematical function. So you have to be very precise that we are not going to use the rank over this data field. But we simply have to assign a sequence and we have to rank on the basis of that sequence actually. So we have used a next value and we have used rank. And what we need to do is we want to pick up the first rank that is the rank number one so this is fine now let's use another rank transformation to pick up the last record so we'll again drag the data here or let's drag the rank here and the data here these are the same again the rank port on next value and we are going to use now the bottom data so we have picked up the rank 1 
and the last one that is the first one from the bottom now it would have been much simpler if the situation was to load these data into two different targets like if they, we have two instance for this target but in this scenario we have to merge them into one single flat file so you can imagine of like uh, appending data uh, in a, a vertical manner or something a union okay so let's use a union here if we go and create a group this will be for the header we need another group for the trailer as well so you can just simply understand this is the first record and this is the last record there is a catch that we will be learning once we uh, make this mapping develop this and run this and see the actual data let's drag the fields here next square data field and now we are going to use this new field over here mapping is valid we'll quickly create a workflow okay so now we see we have this header and trailer we will change the session properties and we see what we have here is dummy let's see the input file name it's input.txt and a target let's name it as header trailer dot txt let's save this and quickly run this it is succeeded and here you see we got the header and the trailer record but something is very interesting that we just shuffled the data like the first record came down and the trailer record that is the last record it came first so if the interviewer asks you how can you correct this thing what you can say is either you put a sorter here correct i will show you either you put a sorter here like this and if you drag both these ports here and then you drag this here and sort on the basis of this next value in ascending manner so the last record will be like the trailer had the last record like the more value 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 in our case we had 6 record so it's going to be down and the header will be the first one so either in this manner it can be achieved or we simply need to understand what exactly we did in the mapping itself that is a rank transformation so if you see the sequence generator has been assigned okay to both these uh, rank transformations 
and our in, let's see the input data to make you better understand this. It becomes something like this. So, if you see here, this rank transformation, what it did was, what we were assuming that this is bringing the first record, but actually, if you see, it, it is doing the ranking on this, on this next value, right? So, you see, the top value is F according to this rank transformation. So, it is becoming actually the last record and vice versa, if you start with the, with this transformation, that is the next rank transformation, it is becoming the first one, that is the first record. So, if you see, we actually shuffled the records here. So, let's quickly change this thing over here and see how it works. Made this bottom and let's make this top. Understand we made the rank, like we defined the ranking on the next value. Let's close the target, discard the input data, let's run this, it's running, it succeeded, let's go and check here, see, now it worked. So you need to understand how the data behaves when you apply the rank on which particular field also there is an option of group by so you have to choose them wisely on which particular group or where you want to apply the rank and a union transform is helped for is used here to merge the data like two data pipelines needs to be combined together and then written into the target i hope you understand this mapping and the whole objective of this tutorial and if it comes into your interview scenario, now you can easily answer this. If you still have any doubt or question, please do comment and let me know. Till then, happy learning.